there's a famous old adage, uh, opus justitiae pax, peace is the work of mm -hmm. justice. Father Ted, thank you so much for taking the time. Glad to be with you. Well, fundamentally, I was interested in working on peace in the world and from an academic university point of view. Peace as achieved through social justice, uh, through the development of good government, through the passage of laws that bear on the rights of people, that uh, democracy becomes not just uh, something you wave at the, at the conventions every four years to get a new president, but something that sinks into the heart of young people. Certainly the fundamental problem is peace and the work of achieving order through social science and philosophy and theology also bear on peace. And I, I think that Kellogg is in a wonderful position to take all of the richness of scholarship in the social sciences and to bear, have them all show a bearing ultimately on peace, justice, we decided to set up the Kellogg Institute. It would be for peace, but how it is achieved through, you might say, the great uh, subjects that a university is built upon, like philosophy and theology, like uh, economics and social science, uh, like education. And we thought we'd put them into a, an institute that could bring in scholars from all over the world to uh, study these subjects. We've always had a great affinity from Latin America. We're indebted not just to our scholars at Notre Dame, but these visiting scholars mostly from were Latin very America. well known down there. And I managed to get into Chile a great deal in former years. And uh, it's amazing how many of those people have been at Notre Dame in the Kellogg Institute. And we have some great leaders in Latin America that work on peace, but I think most of them know about Kellogg and most of them have been here. Many of them have studied here for a year or two or lectured or written books while they're here. And it's part of the dream come true. Latin America has become a focus. Now, I noticed lately that focus has begun to spill over on Africa, and that's a good thing too. Many of our students give the first two years of their lives after graduation to work for justice somewhere in the world. I'm happy that I'm, Notre Dame has gone from being a, you might call a provincial good school in, in Indiana to becoming a world-renowned school, school that attracts scholars from all over the world. It's a thrilling story, but it, it, as a Catholic university, if, if there's one thing that you could be uh, proud about or uh, use as a motto, I revert to that wonderful motto, Opus Justitiae Pax, mm. that peace is the work of justice. And I think we are engaged in that endeavor.